a short message for grown-ups. Looking for more calming entertainment at sleep time? Subscribe to Sleep Tight Premium and get access to our complete back catalog of interruption-free bedtime stories, guided meditations, sleep sounds, and sleep music. And special shout-outs for the kids. Visit sleeptightpremium.com to begin your free trial. A link can be found in our show notes. Thank you. Hello, friends. Welcome to Mindful Monday. I'm Cheryl. In this episode, we are going to talk about gratitude. You can listen to these episodes at the start of your day or any time you need a break. Of course, they are great at bedtime, too. Now, let's continue by finding a comfortable spot, free from distractions. This time, let's try lying down. Let your arms and legs fall to the ground. Then, when you are ready, close your eyes gently. Relax your body and just notice how you are feeling now. Maybe you are excited or anxious, happy, disappointed, silly, or maybe you are tired. However you feel is okay. Now, let's take a few deep belly breaths. Breathing in through your nose and out through your mouth. Take your time and focus on your breathing. Nothing else matters at this moment. Be sure to inhale deeply and slowly. Start to notice how your body changes with each breath you take. Each time you breathe, your belly moves up and your belly moves down. If it is easier, put a hand on your belly. Or if you want, put a stuffed friend there. Each time you breathe, your belly moves. Your hand or your stuffed friend rises and then falls. See if you can count 10 breaths that way. Breathing in, one. Breathing out, one. When you lose count, don't worry about it. That's normal and happens to everyone. Come back to whatever number you last remember. Now, I would like you to think of something you are grateful for. Maybe it was something that someone did for you recently. An activity or hobby you are grateful to be able to do. A toy that you love 
or a positive quality of someone that can be sometimes hard to get along with. Today, I am grateful for family. Breathing in, focus on your belly moving. Breathing out, picture that something that you are grateful for. Or maybe it's many things. If nothing comes to mind, that sometimes happens too. If that's how you feel, picture what you wish to be grateful for instead. If you find it difficult to concentrate, or you feel anxious, or find it difficult to sit still. When this happens, we can focus on our deep breathing to help us in these moments. Our deep belly breaths can help us be calm, be focused, and to concentrate. Now return to your normal rhythm of breathing. Let your body breathe as it should. Today, we are going to talk about gratitude. What is gratitude? Gratitude is one of many positive emotions. It's about focusing on what's good in our lives and being thankful for the things we have. Gratitude is pausing to notice and appreciate the things that we often take for granted, like having a place to live, food, clean water, friends, family, or even computer access. I have often heard, treat others as you would like them to treat you. And I have found a good book for teaching this called Do Unto Otters by Lori Keller. In this book, Mr. Rabbit has new neighbors and they are otters, but he knows nothing about otters. Will they get along? Will they be friends? Mr. Rabbit gets some good advice from Mr. Owl, who says, just treat otters the same way you'd like them to treat you. Mr. Rabbit spends some time thinking about the things that are important to him, like friendliness, being polite, being honest, being considerate, being kind, being able to cooperate and share, and being able to apologize and be forgiving. He realizes if they, himself included, can be all these things, or try to be these things, then they will get along just fine. Take a minute and think, what things are important to you? What do you like to see in your friends? 
There are many ways to practice being grateful. You can have a journal, which can be simply stapled paper or a small notebook. And take time every day to try and write down a few things that you are grateful for. When you're writing those things down, try to be specific about what you're grateful for. So instead of saying, I'm thankful for my family, you might say, I'm thankful that my mom packed my favorite sandwich in my lunch today. Something I am going to try is random acts of kindness. We are going to talk about the different things that students can do at home or at school that are random acts of kindness. Like writing a kind note to a friend or a parent, or helping someone pick up something they have dropped. Then I am going to create a bulletin board with a leafless tree on it. I will put tree leaves beside the board for the students to write the random acts of kindness they have performed on it. They can then attach the leaf to the tree and watch the tree fill up with leaves and think about how that makes them feel. I hope that you can take some time this week to try and do a random act of kindness and think about one thing each day that you are grateful for. Now, take one last deep breath and exhale slowly. Open your eyes. Give your body a big stretch. With your hands, try to reach as far as you can. I hope you have a wonderful week.